Keyword research is essential if you want to drive organic search traffic to your website. Right now, there are hundreds and even thousands of untapped profitable keywords within your niche just waiting for you to find them. In this keyword tutorial, we are going to break down a step-by-step -step process for finding profitable keywords for your niche website that will passively drive free traffic to your site. Let's find some gems. Before getting too far into this guide, we first want to discuss the overarching strategy behind keyword research. First off, the steps we're about to discuss should be repeated at two different stages of your niche site creation. The first time through is meant to get content ideas for you to organize and plan out your content creation strategy as well as the structure of your website. This phase can be done before you even have a website. Then as you get to the content creation stage, I suggest repeating the process for each individual article you write as you write it. This may make more sense after watching the on-page optimization video, but for now, let's move on. First, we want to determine our broad keywords. A broad keyword can be seen as more of a category like baseball exercises. These terms will generally have a higher volume of searches associated with them, higher competition, and are not very descriptive of what the person searching is actually looking for. Then we have long tail keywords. A long tail keyword, on the other hand, more closely represents natural language that a person would use when typing into Google. Notice when we type baseball exercises into Google, Google will then make suggestions on what you may be looking for. They suggest this phrasing because this is what is most commonly being searched for by users. In this scenario, the keyword best baseball exercises to throw harder would be a better term to target than the broad term baseball exercises. The phrase best baseball exercises to throw harder will have less searches, but also less competition. Additionally, you're going to know the intent of the reader so you can provide exceptional content just for them. Lastly, you still have the broad phrase in your keyword. So over time, as your page proves to be valuable, Google will increase your rankings in the broad keyword search results. All this being said, always target the long tail version of your broad keyword. This is how you will continually grow your site even in crowded markets. The first step is to brainstorm all the broad and subcategories that can be associated with your main keyword. First, create a new Google Sheet to list out your keywords. Categorize your keywords similar to how we displayed content in the on-page SEO course with your broad keyword at the top and then subcategories below that. Try to capture as many topics you can possibly think of before moving on to the online research phase. Next step is to head on over to Google and type in forum colon quotes your keyword end quote to find forums based around your topic. Click into each forum and explore the various categories labeled throughout. Add any categories to your mind map that you may have missed. Once you've worked through several forums, head on over to Wikipedia. Type your main keyword into the search function and look through the article. Wikipedia is an absolute goldmine when it comes to keywords. Look at all the bolded terms, the table of contents, the right-hand side panels, and the related terms at the bottom of the page. You can even click through to different terms linked on the page and repeat the process. Add all of these terms to your current list. The next step is to see what your competition is doing. You can use a tool called SEMrush to get a list of 800 keywords your competitors are currently ranking for. However, this tool costs $90 a month so instead, you can head on over to this Fiverr gig and send them links of the competition you want analyzed. You'll get an Excel or a CSV file back listing your competitor's keywords, the search volume for each, the keyword difficulty, and much, much more information. For now, look through these lists and add any keywords over to your own list that you may have previously missed. Now that we have a long list of categorized keywords, let's head on over to a tool called Longtail Pro. You can sign up for a 7-day free trial using the link I have in the description below. Side note, make sure to cancel your subscription if you don't plan on using it often or past the 7-day free trial. Once you're logged in, you'll see a dashboard like this. I suggest making a project for your main website keyword as well as all of the second level subcategories. For this example, I'm just going to show one of our sub-level categories, which is going to be the batting category in baseball training. Then I make projects for each level down. I name them T3 just so I can decipher the difference. So then go through each project and use the Google AdWords suggestion tab. 
um, and type in your main keyword as well as any other phrasing you can think of. Set the max results per seed keyword option to an appropriate number depending on how many seed keywords you added. Export the list. Repeat the same process for all of your projects. Now we're gonna go through the tier three CSV files and similar to how we group keywords by categories, do that once again. We are now essentially creating a backlog of blog posts to write for our website, at which point you'll have to make a decision on the main keyword to use for each post based on the volume of searches and the KC. KC is the keyword competition, so you wanna be on the lookout for low KC. I'd consider 50 plus to be difficult, 40 to 50 moderately hard, 30 to 40 moderately easy, and anything less than 30 is easy. Awesome, you are done with all the hard stuff at this point. Before we completely finish, head on over to Google once more. Type each one of your blog post main keywords into Google one at a time, and see if you can extend the keyword using the auto suggest feature. Click space after your keyword phrase to get suggestions for the tail end of the sentence, and click space in front of the word to get suggestions for the beginning keywords. Record this long tail keyword phrase in the appropriate blog post category column for your own reference later. You can also extend your keyword further by using modifier terms. Modifiers are common language that people use to describe what they are looking for. Someone looking for informational content is going to type something like how to into Google, while someone looking to buy may use best or review in their search phrasing. Make sure to add these modifier terms where appropriate. So as you can see, I've got one of our blog post titles done with the modifiers and optimized for keywords. It is Beginner's Guide, Youth Baseball Batting Drills and Exercises for Power. Notice how we're trying to fit in as many keywords as possible but not over-optimize at the same time. The broad keyword that we're trying to target is Baseball Batting Drills, which has a volume of 90 searches per month, but we're also optimized for pretty much every other word on this list increasing the amount of searches that you're going to get to this one blog post. You'll also notice that I throw in beginners, guide, youth, exercises, and power as keywords into this title, but they don't necessarily fit the exact match keyword phrase that we see on our list here. It's not a huge deal if they're not placed in the correct order, even though that does add strength, but Google still likes to see that it's in proximity to the phrase itself. So there you go, and congrats, you're way ahead of the game. You now have at least a dozen, probably more, blog posts backlogged and ready to be written. Believe me, doing this up front frees up a ton of mental space going forward. You won't have to think about what to write next, eliminating a major reason people don't put out as much content as they should. Make sure to check out the description below, which has all the resources talked about throughout this guide, as well as links to next videos in this video series on creating a profitable niche website. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these detailed online marketing guides, as well as give this a video a thumbs up if you like the content. Write any questions or comments you may have in the comment section below this video, and I'll reply back to you as fast as I can. With that being said, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.